Behold, Pickle, my greatest invention yet, the Mega Bubble Machine. Regular bubbles are for babies. I'm using this super polymer mix to make the biggest bubbles ever. Crusher, is it supposed to smoke like that? Of course it is. It's just W-H-O. I'm trapped. Let me out. Whee! Look at us bounce, Crusher! What a beautiful day for a drive, guys! <laughs> Whoa! Did you see that car? It's stuck inside a giant bubble! Please, get me out of this thing! It's my own invention, and I can't pop it! <laughs> Don't worry, Crusher. We'll get you out. But these bubbles look tough. We might need some extra power. Zig, we have a bubble emergency in Axel City. We need your smashing power. Zeg here. Zeg smash bubbles. Zeg. Smash. Whoa. Bubble bouncy. Not break! I've got you, Zeg! That bubble is stronger than it looks! It's not just soap, it's a super elastic polymer! That means it stretches when you hit it instead of breaking! Smashing it just makes it stretch! We can't break it from the outside with force! If we can't smash it from the outside, maybe we can pop it from the inside! We need to use air pressure. If we fill the bubble with too much air, the walls will stretch too far and pop. That's a great idea, Gabby. But we need a machine powerful enough to pump that much air. I think I know just the machine. I'm transforming. I'm a super air compressor truck. The hose is connected, and the seal is tight. We're ready to pump. OK, let's test it. I'll monitor the PSI. That's pounds per square inch of pressure. Inserting the nozzle. Now, Blaze, pump the air. Pumping air, full power. Pressure is rising. It's almost at the breaking point! Pressure is rising! It's almost at the breaking point! Put me down! I'm floating away! Oh no! The wind is blowing them toward Cactus Canyon! If they hit those sharp rocks, they might get stuck high up where we can't reach them! We have to catch them! Let's blaze! They're moving fast! We need to get ahead of them! Now right! Watch out for that boulder! They're gonna get stuck on that high ledge! We need to use trajectory to jump up there. If we hit that ramp at full speed, we can land on the ledge. Here we go! Great landing, Blaze! Now let's pop these bubbles! Ah, I'm gonna roll off! Ah! Ah! I've got you, Crusher! Gabby! Pop Pickle's bubble first. Yay! I'm free! <laughs> that was loud! Don't let me drop! I'm too pretty to fall! The wind is too strong! I can't get the nozzle in! I've got 
you, Gabby. Steady, steady. Blaze, give me everything you've got. Maximum pressure. Here comes the air. It's too big. It's gonna blow. I guess. <laughs> Transformation complete! I'm back to being a monster machine! Let's head back to Axel City. I bet everyone is happy the bubbles are gone. Look! All the bubbles popped when the wind died down. The city is safe! We learned about elasticity. That's why the bubbles didn't break. They stretched like rubber bands. So we used air pressure. We pumped so much air inside that the walls couldn't stretch anymore. And P.O.P. The pressure was too strong for the bubble. Well, I'm done with super polymer bubbles. I'm gonna make a normal safe bubble that won't trap anyone. Watch this, the perfect bubble. I think I used too my soap. <laughs> you look like a giant marshmallow crusher. <laughs> At least those bubbles are easy to pop, crusher. <laughs> Today we learned that when force doesn't work, science can save the day. See you next time! Remember how Zeg bounced off? That's elasticity in action. Most things break or dent, but elastic materials return to their original shape. It's just like filling your tires. You need the right amount of pressure. Mm -hmm. But if you put in too much air, Pow! The material can't hold it anymore. And don't forget trajectory. That's the path I took through the air. A young South Asian boy named AJ had to calculate the perfect speed and angle so I wouldn't crash. <laughs> Bubble tickle Zeg's nose. Another successful repair. Destruction. Look at me! I'm a bubble juggler! <gasps> Whoa! Slippery! I'm a clean machine coming through! Crusher. <laughs> Thanks for watching. You're a STEM superstar.